Hey friends, we finally settled in London and are ready to explore and take you along with us. We're not new to London, but there is plenty of places we've never been. And if you've been following our channel, you'll know that food is still our number one priority. Before jumping into today's vlog, make sure to follow us on Instagram and of course here on YouTube. Every subscriber is a big help for us. Enough talking for now, let's get started. Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and this is Danny. And today we're going to be exploring one of the most richest and poshest places in London. Can you say poshest? Poshest? I, I think so, but yeah. Most posh. Yeah, so basically we are in Chelsea, which most of you know for the football team, mm -hmm. but no, it's actually one of the nicest areas in London. It's really nice, stunning, full of nice buildings, nice cars, nice cafes, very good shopping, and yeah, it's just beautiful. So this district, it's surrounded by Kensington, Fulham, very close to the river, so you have pretty much everything here. And at the moment, we've just come out of Sloan Square Underground Station, and we're amongst the mansion houses, which is like this lovely red brick so it's already quite striking as you leave the station and then already I can see like flash cars so I think it's just gonna be a day of us walking around wishing that we could live here <laughs> I never explored Chelsea uh, entirely like so we definitely gonna be exploring a few different places and obviously have some food let's get on with it arrived to Pavilion Street which is the most beautiful pedestrian street and um, just before reaching here I've seen Kevin Spacey talking on the phone and yeah it's just full of nice cars and rich vibe So we took a small detour to the Conran shop, which is like an interior homeware stuff, very stylish, such a nice place with very vibey scene and music. So if you're here, just give it a look because it's really nice. So we are just strolling around today, but we are going to head towards an area where there is the Michelin house, which is the original headquarters of Michelin tires. So maybe that will be interesting. It looks like it's a really old building, but we're just down a street at the moment, which is just full of these beautiful, unique apartments and then parts outside they have like their Porsche and the Lambos and whatever. Yeah, we're just enjoying the architecture and the quiet areas. And, and just peeking through the blinds to see what the inside looks like. Yeah. <laughs> So this Michelin building, it's actually very nice. Um, so basically inside it's been refurbished and there is a flower shop on the ground floor and an oyster bar or like a restaurant serving very nice and probably expensive food. So we still decided to walk a little bit more and just to explore the quiet areas in Chelsea. But we're also getting hungry, so we walking towards a pub, which we probably gonna end up eating it. It's called Chelsea Peak. It's in a busy area towards the riverside. And yeah, so we're gonna explore that area as well. And I know for sure that there are nice villas on the riverside that are just stunning. We just ended up in an area that looks like Portobello Road or comparing to Istanbul, Fener and Balat, right? With lots of colorful houses and the is just nice. I keep saying it's beautiful, it's posh, it's amazing, but at the end it's actually ace. 
That's why Chelsea is one of the nicest places to live in London and probably the most expensive as well. So yeah, we're just enjoying being here. We are now in a plant shop and it's like a paradise for Maya, so she's so excited. And um, yeah, it's just like a cover-up area and full of plants and terracotta pots and yeah, just really nice. So walking around all this area and seeing so many cafes, we got so hungry. So we're just in front of the Chelsea Peak and yeah, let's see what they do. We're hungry. More like maybe all we need is get you an iPhone 15 Pro Max. It looks like it's very nice. We've got it. So we just finished with our fish and chips and burger, and we're contemplating of getting a dessert. But to be honest with you, we're so full, and I think we'll be skipping the dessert for now, and maybe like try it to see if there is another cafe. <laughs> where I have a dessert and a coffee because we feel like we also need a coffee because we've been walking so much so yeah we're skipping the dessert for now okay so now we finished eating at the pig it was really really nice and it was just a really nice setting in there very nice chandeliers and we both had a pint of very frosted cold Guinness and now we just need to kind of walk it off and stay awake because we're tired. But we are going to be heading towards the river. Bob Marley lived in this specific house in 1977. That's so random. So we've been already walking around Chelsea for the last probably two and a half hours and still the amount of stuff that we haven't seen. So many areas with like nice buildings. Just everything looks so beautiful. So we're now walking towards Sloan Square the way when we originally came and it's like a high street with lots of stores, lots of different shops, uh, Gani store that Maya likes a lot, Nike store and yeah it's just like a full-on shopping and busy as well, right? Yeah it's nice, very unique shops here as well like boutique style ones. The Saatchi Gallery is actually free to enter, you can just leave a donation. So we actually went in and checked out the exhibitions on the ground floor. But there's no cafe in there, so we couldn't find anywhere to get a coffee. But I think we're kind of at the end of our day now. It's been, we got here at like 11 and now it is four, so it's been about six hours. Yeah, we still need to walk towards Sloan Square, where we initially got here. 
and there are a few more shops that we're probably gonna be visiting and I think I'm gonna get myself a cookie from this street market so yeah the day's not over okay yeah well the vlog is over <laughs> no it's not cue the b-roll and the closing music and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on our future videos thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching. ciao